Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out of here and also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we're going to be covering in this video is we are going to be finding the area and perimeter of an isosceles triangle. So when you're dealing with an isosceles triangle, you are going to have a triangle that is made up of two equal sides. So usually these types of triangles are represented by tick marks and these little tick marks mean that those two sides that have the tick mark on them are equal. So with an isosceles triangle, you're going to have two equal sides. In this triangle, we have 15 inches and 15 inches. And the angles that are opposite each of these sides, meaning this one and this one, will also be equal. So we are going to find the area and perimeter for this isosceles triangle, where we have an 18-inch side, two 15-inch sides, and our overall height is 12 inches here. So remember that area is just how much space you have inside your object. So with the area here, our area for this triangle is going to be 1 half times the base times the height, or you could write it as our base times our height and then divided by 2. So we have to find out what our base is and what our height is. Well, the base and this particular triangle is going to be the 18 since it is at the bottom here. And then our height is going to be the overall height, how tall our triangle is, and that would be denoted by our 12 inches here. The 15 inches on each side is just denoting how long that side is on the slanted version here. So our base is going to be 18 inches times a height of 12 inches, and then divided by 2 for our area of this triangle, and this will give us 108 inches squared. Keep in mind that our units have to be squared whenever we are dealing with an area. Whenever you see something that has a unit squared, that is an area parameter. Okay, so that's our area for an isosceles triangle. Now we're going to work on the perimeter. So the perimeter is just a measure of how long it takes you to get all the way around your object. So we have a triangle. A triangle is a three-sided shape. So that means that we are going to add three sides together. So we're going to add three numbers together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each of the sides. So we have 15 inches plus 15 inches plus 18 inches to get all the way around. The 12 inches is the height. It is not the distance around the object. It is an internal distance. So perimeter will always be measured along the outside. So we will have 15 inches plus 15 inches plus the 18 inches there at the bottom. So my perimeter will pop out to be 48 inches. Keep in mind that perimeter is a distance measurement. So we will be using inches to match the unit that was given for the distance of each side. Area will always be a squared distance, and perimeter will just be the distance without it being squared. And that's how you find the area and perimeter for an isosceles triangle. Keep in mind that an isosceles triangle is just a triangle that has two equal sides, typically denoted by these little tick marks. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problem solving this Friday, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you've done so already, please make sure that you like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all of that really does help us out. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.